Hi, Susan Blue Robot here from SusanBlueRobot.com. I'm here today with another help video. This one was a a help from C Short, and um, which is also known as Christine, um, and she allowed me to use this her file to demonstrate. So I hope this helps anyone else as well as Christine. I'm using Make the Cuts Pop Up Card Studio, and here is the card that I was sent. She's um, used uh, what Andy had done in a webinar a couple of weeks ago um, and made the arch steps. And she's having problem with the anchors at the the back because they're on different planes. To take them back, it cuts off and it's very difficult you've got things just left freestanding so i hope this helps you and i'll go through what i would do for this case first off i turn me plane the plane on um in transparency i'd like up a bit further so i can see because there's a lot of bits and pieces now I want to go to this plane, so I hold the D key down and click on this plane, this one here, and it goes to here. So first off, I'll leave these three here and I'll take, I'll, will zoom in on this. I'm using the mouse key to get it into view. So now, if you see that um, the theory of putting the the one plane back to a anchor back here it chops off this side so this is what I would do um, there's no fast rule of how to do this but it might give you an idea so first off I want to throw that one away so we go further away okay so what I would do is instead of doing an auto quad I do a normal a draw line so I start here I click I go to this anchor now I click there click once just go to the over here and click so I've now clicked off this pylon at the back I'm just going to nick back to this one over here click and I watch for the blue line to come so I know it's at the other side of the J I go click click and click so now what I have is I have the anchor at both of these planes this plane here and this plane here it still folds it still works it's just that the anchor is on here so it'll be folded here and it'll also be folded here with the gap in between so if we go to print preview if I can get in here see you have a fold line here and a fold line there so you'll be still folding these as normal except for this will just be anchored to this one on this plane and anchor to this one on this plane and it'll still fold but okay so we'll do that again and see how this one is just left in the air so you all you've got is a little slither here and the same here it's cutting through the back here so I'll work through this to do a few more so you can get an idea that you do not have to just go to the one plane I don't mind this one this one's what I'll do with this one is I'll just angle angle the line back just to this plane here so we'll go cut that click there I turn my snapping down a bit to 16 maybe and I'll just take it back to that plane there 
click, click, click. Whoops, see how I haven't joined it here, I've gone a bit past. Undo, we'll go click, join it to just this plane here. Zoom in. That's the plane I want to be on. And maybe I didn't go far enough at the back there. I will check it. No, it's not connected. Just turn my transparency up to see if I could get that a bit better. Now you got to understand that you've got a lot of layers here. So yes, it's not as easy, but it's trial and error. And as you can see, I'm not doing it first off. Um, click, click. just shows that you don't have to have your anchors perfectly in the auto quad to have it anchored to the back of the card it's just as easy as doing that now this one here is cutting through these two um, pylons here so uh, what I would do with this one is the same I would select that I'd go cut then I'd go to back to the Bezier tool, go click there, click, click, so now that is just on that one plane and the same here. Okay, so that one wasn't right, so... And the thing is... With some designs, and some designs you just cannot use an auto quad. Um, anchor point. So yes, it's a little bit harder to see, but it's worth it in the long run to escape from that okay this is what I'm going to do I'm going to go by the rule of me going I go past that past that okay now I've put that past it for a reason now what I'm going to do is come in here and do
See how I've moved that into position so I could see that I could do a crop. Now if I go to print preview, I've put that in the right position. I've got to take this one back out and do the same thing. So what I do is select this one, take it past it, and then do, putting it in the right position so you can see the cropping. Print preview is going to be a friend and see how now I've got them two on the planes and I have it at the front. Badly. And just crop that. And we'll see if that works. I've just fixed that. We'll see that's another way of fixing the thing. So this is more or less saying that you can either go around the lettering. Now I could have done them all by going around the lettering, but in this case, to save on the video time and not to bore you all, I thought I would go so you can go around the lettering it doesn't matter if the fold lines on two planes it still works or you can use the draw and go narrow it into planes and you all got also got the bonus of seeing me overextend the pl the anchors and then do a crop to come back to the plane so i hope this helps um if you have any questions about this, don't hesitate to ask. Um, I, uh, there was a bit of a delay in getting this video done, and I apologise, but um, the, they've had a lot of noise here during the daytime. So this has been Susan Blue Robot at SusanBlueRobot.com, um, and if you'd like to purchase either Meet the Cut or Pop of Cut Studio, you'll find a link below this video or on my blog at susanbluerobot.com. Thanks for visiting. Bye-bye.